A brief history of home computing, or building a better mousetrap for home computer users. By Ernest Long. Chapter 1, Introduction. Many people want the dream that is having a home computer. But how many have realized the home computer dream? And how many are living the home computer nightmare? You might want to feel part of the modern age, find bargains, or be part of a community. And you feel you need a computer to grasp these possibilities, which before were only a dream. This book offers hope for those living the home computer nightmare. As well, it offers help to anyone who wants the home computer dream. A few years ago, computers were business machines used by businesses. Or computers were games or educational machines used at home. Word processor and spreadsheet software was originally for business use only. Then they sold WP, word processor, and spreadsheet software for home use. Some computer users started using WPs and spreadsheets as an activity at home. They tried to write a novel or did other creative writing. Or they made notes to themselves about their problems. Also, they might keep a home budget. And some used them to make useful lists, such as lists of things to pack for a holiday. After the internet, you could use computers to keep in touch surf the web or to do other things. But the web was mainly text. And it was still some time before you had digital photography or video. Some computer software companies felt the bubble would burst unless they made computers a better deal. Computers had to do things most people wanted, such as you could watch movies, or read books and magazines. You could still play games but dedicated machines were getting a larger part of the game's market. It was the classic business marketing idea called, building a better mousetrap. A product that fulfills a genuine need means you don't need as much marketing. Nevertheless, customers will still want one. Marketing worries over. Some technologists and marketers felt they could, build a better mousetrap. They could start with the existing technology and make it better. It seems the technologists have worked on the problems. Many computer users knew these problems well. Or they had heard about them, way back when. Nonetheless, they had since ignored or forgotten them. Perhaps, they did not think back to when they got their computer and they had wanted more. But then they had settled for less. Now computers are better as they are becoming ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means computers have an everyday commonplace use. You can do your hobbies and interests on your computer. Or you can use computers to watch movies or to read books. And computers may get even better in the future. Computer hardware and software companies did not think word processors and spreadsheets offered customers a good deal. They did think computers had potential as hobby, entertainment or media machines. Technologists worked on digital formats to replace paper and other electronic formats. Digital formats were for photos, for videos or music. And they replaced existing paper photos, videotapes, audio tapes or records. Having these things on a computer meant you no longer needed VCRs record players or tape decks. Nor do you have today CD or DVD players and nor CDs or DVDs. Everything is on a computer. But your computer was no different from the one you had previously except that it was better. Computers have improved or they are on the verge of improving. Now they might no longer be the bane of home computer users' lives. For some customers, Computers are already what they want. And nor do they think computers have much of a dowsid. Chapter 2, Tools They say there are two reasons computers are not suitable for home use. The first is there's not enough room in a bedroom for a computer. And the second is the software is only useful for businesses. 
There's not enough room in a bedroom for a computer. Bedrooms often had no more than a bed and one or two items of furniture only before you had computers in them. However, the space in bedrooms has stayed the same. Computers in bedrooms ruin the aesthetics. Nor is there enough air in the room. Home computers attract dust. They make the room hard to clean because they obstruct cleaning. Also, computers have carcinogens. And sitting in front of them for a long time affects concentration. This is from the backlit screen, sitting at a desk or a flash when you open a file. Electromagnetic radiation from the screen is carcinogenic and can affect concentration. Overusing a computer can cause bad backs, bad hands, or eye astray. The software is only useful for businesses. The word processor and spreadsheet software was originally only for business and not the home. Businesses use word processors for writing letters or reports. Spreadsheets are mainly for accounts. The use of the software is different in the home. You can use word processors to write a novel or for other creative writing. Spreadsheets are for a budget or for lists. An example of a list is things to pack for a holiday. Some home computer users do not need this business software of word processors and spreadsheets. Instead of this software, you could write most lists on paper. This is because most lists you might make are not too long. All the same, you might need to write lists out again to keep them neat. And this wastes time. Nor do some home computer users still keep a budget. They don't because they no longer find that a computer budget is useful. This is because a computer budget is an effort and takes time and they don't need the money they would save. Also, they already know all the lessons they can about budgeting. And so now, they save money. They look for such as special offers and reductions. Writing anything even with a word processor is an effort and takes time. And it is an effort for anything longer than a few pages. It is sometimes an effort to learn to write if you don't already have good writing skills. Yet, even when you have good writing skills, it still takes time and effort. Computers cost money some users can ill afford. On the upside, though, Today's technology can help you more than ever. And you have opportunities to share your creative writing online. You would have to write a good book to get more readers. As well, you would have to have good marketing skills. And if you do not have the skills to edit and proofread your own books, then you may have to pay for them. Or there is a financial cost to design book covers if you can't do it yourself. Marketing and business advice will cost money. Another cost is paying a secretary or shorthand typist to save the effort of handwriting or typing that would be authors who wanted to write a novel had heard about successful authors. These successful authors dictated their books. Or if you wanted to be a writer, you had heard that some non-fiction authors had dictation services where they worked. At some time. People who wrote on a typewriter would dearly have liked such a service. But they reluctantly used a typewriter or word processor instead. They had heard about all the advantages that dictation offered the author such as for their health, their creativity and productivity. Nonetheless, a computer and a WP were cheaper and came in a box. Yet people who wrote without such a service may rue the day they accepted second best. Today, though, there are alternatives to typing or handwriting. You have speech recognition for dictating to the page of your WP. Or you can get a portable sound recorder and transcription software to cut screen time. Dictation is now possible for many more authors because of computers. Some home users found it hard to cope with powerful WP and spreadsheet software. It was a lot of learning for office workers let alone people at home. However, some home computer users liked the idea of having the best. 
but some home users did not need this software at all. Also, you needed good writing and math skills to use the software well even when you did have something for which you wanted it. Sometimes computer users decided they had no use for computers when they knew the software. Chapter 3, More Advice Take Breaks Radiation from computer VDUs is bad for health. And it gives anyone who uses a computer poor concentration. CRTs are the older TVs and scientists said you could only watch these older TVs safely from 20 meters away. But this research did not have many viewers going back to radio only. Flat screens have less radiation than CRTs although they still have some. Despite the problems, health advice is available to anyone who uses a computer. Taking breaks and not spending so long on it each day help your health and your lifestyle more generally. How you use your computer, for what you use it and for how long can affect health. Watching TV or videos on computers is not good for health if you are sitting up close. You may already have cable or satellite TV, which does not have these problems. And cable or satellite TV has plenty of channels. It depends though on your cable or satellite package how many channels and movies you get. You may get more online or you might not do. The internet was sometimes a gimmick which restarted an interest in reading or TV. It did this because you could click on links and interact. And if you wanted the internet, then you might have found the shortness of many of the online articles attractive. However, later people like this wanted to read or watch TV again the same as they had always done. Tasks Most basic is taking breaks and not taking too long overall. Have a purpose for having a computer and use a printer. Use speech recognition. Keep it short. Nobody can read all you or others can write on computers and nor can anyone read all you or others can send to them by email or print. Also, use other formats other than WPs or spreadsheets such as video or sound recordings. Have a purpose. For example, you can do creative arts. You can shop for bargains online or you can get news, education or entertainment. Some new ideas. Your hard drive has carbon in it and is carcinogenic. Cloud computing is where your files are on the server of a computer company and you access your files through the internet. This means you don't need a large hard drive on your own computer. Live streaming is possible because of faster broadband and it means you don't need a big hard drive. Today, you can use your computer to watch movies and get entertainment. Nor do you now just have to use AWP or other hobby software. You can connect your computer to the TV in your living area or get a smart TV. This means watching TV and online video are now almost the same. A computer offers space-saving solutions. For example, you don't have piles of CDs or DVDs around. Now you can go online for video or music. Some did keep DVDs or CDs in boxes in a spare room or garage. This avoided having clutter in their living area and they could keep a few CDs or DVDs to play. So you did not need to have clutter, but it was less convenient. Also, Having a joint TV and VDU is a space-saving solution. Nor do you have to find somewhere for both a music center and a TV. Chapter 4, Stress The first home computers were mainly games or educational machines. Your friends were all in the same room as you and you took turns on the keyboard or joystick. Educational programs tested you on subjects you studied at school. The aim of this was to improve your grades. Years ago, computers kept no personal data except your highest score. Nobody could see your highest score except by seeing it on your computer screen when they visited your house. And you did not have to record your highest score to begin with if you didn't want to do so. 
Then computer companies decided to repackage business software for home use. So the office came into the home. In the past, business machines were separate from home computers. They had a word processor, spreadsheet and not much else. You could not have bought these machines or these programs unless you were a business person. All the same, even though these new home machines only really had a word processor and spreadsheet, they still caught on. It is stressful having a computer and particularly if connected to the internet. Using business software, the home user has to cope with something called information overload. This is where you have too many figures from your spreadsheets. Or you have too many WP files. You can't read them all or remember all you do read. And you don't have enough time for anything but your computer. Going online, your computer has all your files, address books, emails and browsing history. Browsing history is available to buy online. The data comes from your ISP provider, web stats companies or websites you have visited. Your ISP provider knows from their records and the service they provide what websites customers have visited. Web stats companies have software with which they record visits to websites. Websites stick cookies on your computer when you visit. Cookies track your browsing history and send the website company this browsing history. And all these companies and websites sell this data to anyone who wants to buy it. All these companies would know your browsing history even if you removed your browsing history from your computer. You might feel stressed having a computer, but find going online particularly stressful. You have no need to worry because everything you think is true. It seems the only thing that people often worry about is worry itself. And they have problems that come from this worry. They try to use their home computers to solve this confusion. Yet computers sometimes add to the confusion. For example, there might be easy solutions you overlook. Or they make mistakes in how they use their computer. Sometimes, they find coping with the technology hard for several years. Or they wear their fingers out writing notes or doing problem-solving exercises. These can sometimes be for problems caused from having a computer to start with and sometimes for other unconnected problems. They say that some worry is normal for everyone. But some worry more than normal. A worried person can find out online about any subject of which they worry. And any media will answer many questions on any topic, interest or worry. What you read or see on TV or video is all to do with the real world. Or it is often all about problems. You can use your computer to get advice and help online. Also, you can find it again if you want by going online again. As well as websites, you can buy ebooks or order paper books online. And you still have print publications. Or you can make notes on AWP. You can use the editing or other features of AWP to draw things together. Or you can write it in your own words so you express yourself and understand the ideas better. Yet you could change just by realizing you have the power to change. They say anyone only needs more help or advice as it is helpful to have it when it keeps in mind you still have problems that you really should address some more. They say anyone can see this but a worried person doesn't. You sometimes hear stories of people who just decided one day that they'd change. Then their life improved and they had everything they wanted. For example, they decided they'd do keep fit and in a few short weeks had toned their muscles. And this was when they had wanted to do it for years but hadn't. Other people decided to learn how to cook or others decided to go out for long walks. They all decided they would become like the person they really saw themselves as being, but others might not have seen them as up until now. When will you decide to do what you really want to do? 
Or when will you decide to start being the person you've always felt you were like? You could do it today. Computers can help you with a creative hobby. Also, going online, you can read more or you can watch videos about anything. You can use a spreadsheet or budgeting app to save money. Or you can talk using instant messenger, send emails or communicate using social networks. And you can find bargains online. Or you can get news and any other information. And you can do a course online. You can do many things on a computer. Desirability Computers are business or professional tools and as well, you have the same computers in the home. To use the same software well at home, it helps to have admin or business training. However, you can get professional tips without you needing to know nearly as much as an office worker. An employer will pay people to do office work and tell them what to do when at work. But if it is your own computer in your home, then you have to think of a purpose yourself that you would like to do. You might want to do a hobby better. Or you might want to get more entertainment than you could do otherwise. Today, you generally get more terrestrial, cable and satellite TV and you get more print publications but you may want to get media by using your computer. You get all this extra choice because of the digital and computer technology that today almost everyone uses. And a computer can still help you with a hobby you do at home. Doing something you are not good at doing is stressful. Or doing something you don't really want to do is stressful. Problem solving and planning are stressful. And this is particularly if you do it poorly. You may plan poorly because you don't understand the real activity or you don't understand the computer's tools. Or you may want to use your computer less when you have read that using it less is healthier. Yet you have problems doing things on your computer that mean you spend longer on your computer than you intended. And if you have good reasons to use your computer for something, then it does not make complete sense trying to use your computer less. This is even if you don't have problems coping with the software. You may feel technologists have not solved all the problems. These are problems such as the backlit screen, radiation, carcinogens or a flash when you scroll. And you don't get enough fresh air sitting at a desk. Nor might you think that they have solved problems caused by viruses and nor do you feel reassured around concerns you have about privacy online. And this is though you do hear there are solutions for healthier less stressful computing. Some of these solutions are for radiation, desk and screen time. You have radiation and glare filters, smart TVs and smartphones. Also, you have e-readers and more economical, quieter and faster printers. And you have ergonomic desks and chairs. Also, you can open a window, have a desk fan or have air conditioning. And you can take breaks and use your computer for less time overall. Or you can change how you use the software to use it healthily or you can use the software more productively to increase how much you do in the same amount of time. You can do everything you need quickly and easily. And you can get the same benefits without so much time and effort. You might feel that it all sounds too much. This is for something that they say is just a consumer product no different from a TV. An average customer might just want a healthy computer out the box. And you might just want to see your friends in person and not want to talk about computers just because you have one. For example, you don't want to have as your only conversation with friends that you've read thousands of pages of computer instruction manuals. Nor might you want to narrate new computer tips you know as conversation. All the same, you may feel you can use your computer healthily if you just used it less. Perhaps, you could use it only for a few hours a week. Or if you made enough space for a computer in your home, you wouldn't have many of the problems of which you hear. 
and you would worry less if you worried less about how others use their computers. You are not responsible for anyone who doesn't follow health advice. Nor are you responsible for anyone who can't cope with something because it is just a bit complicated. Nobody has to have a computer in his or her own home. Don't have a computer. That solves all your problems. Chapter 5, Squeak Was it necessary to build a better mousetrap to start with? It was often a sarcastic comment you heard made that you could only use a home computer to write a novel. But then why wouldn't you want to write a novel? You might read about computers and want a computer to write one. Really, is there a problem with home computers at all? They say most home computer users only use a computer for a few hours a week. Then there is a jump to 35 hours a week. And there is almost nobody between. Overuse then, you could see as the only health problem. Also, it seems a clearly defined problem group who do overuse them. This is when you can define the problem group by how much you use a computer. Perhaps, there is no problem at all. There would be no problem if you had all the time to do everything you wanted. Or there would be no problem if computers did not harm your health if you overused them. Most of this problem group uses them to do things such as creative writing, art, photography, music or video. They share their work online. And they create it with their computer. It does not seem that addict is the right word. Or it is not for anyone who is writing a future classic. Nor is there any need to worry about people trying to create a future iconic work and getting all the adulation they would like to have for doing so. Yet you still hear of internet addiction or computer addiction. Computers are addictive they say. And that's the problem with overusing them. But they are addictive because you can communicate in ways you can't in normal life. Perhaps. Writing a novel will inevitably take thousands of hours. So novelists are a problem group. A good reason you cannot use a computer a lot is you can't use a computer a lot healthily. Nonetheless, you may have healthier computer use by having a desk away from the wall. Or you can have an ergonomic office desk, chair and other office furniture. Also, there are many other health requirements for using a computer. Users are unlikely to keep to all of these when there are so many or they are hard to remember sometimes. Or some don't think it is right to have computers in homes, as it is not always possible to have a healthy computer use in domestic settings. And they say that computers still have some health problems even when you can prevent other ones. So we're back to the better mousetrap. Computers are now media machines hobbyist machines or some use them just for shopping. Even so and despite this, technology used by other media outlets has kept up with the advantages of home PCs. Perhaps, you might think that home computers are still only good for writing a novel. Yet now computers really are good for other things, such as photography, video, art or making music. Online. You have more choice of books and reading and you can order paper books online and not just e-books. You can get movies online or you can find bargains online. Or you can have a computer just for staying in touch with family or friends. You can use email, instant messaging or social networks. Students use computers to do online courses. And they type essays even at bricks and mortar colleges. Not all homes can get cable or satellite TV. But most homes have a phone line to connect to the internet. Computer companies plan more and better hardware and software releases. This will make the computer experience even better. Some home users feel computers do give them something a bit like a dream. And it is a dream they've had for a long time. Yet this dream was impossible just a few years ago. 
some consumers still don't want a computer because of their earlier experiences of computers. But computers are better than they were before. And they do a lot more than they ever did. Perhaps, the technologists have realized the dream of many computer users. Media watchers will see if mobiles or smart TVs will replace desktops and laptops. They will also see if faster broadband means anyone will only use computers for watching video. The future might tell if the hobby market is big enough to sustain the same technological development of recent years. And in the future, nobody might talk about things that you now take for granted. Instead, you might remember desktops and laptops as the once prized technology of the past. Or computers that there is so much talk about today, might just be worth a few short paragraphs in future history books. You might in the future have more things to talk of to your friends other than computers, but it will be on a computer probably that you'll read about anything and your TV will also be a computer. Computers will still be very important, but no longer regarded as separate from other things that you'd mention them differently. All the same, you will still use computer technology for hobbies or entertainment. And many homes might use more computer technology in the future. The computer chip might not always physically be in the home. Instead, it could be via the internet. Or computer technology could be both in the home and online. In the future, talking about computers might not make full sense. Computers are already all around us and in the future everyone will use computers even more in one way or another and even if they don't have a home PC, desktop or laptop. Also, computers will do more mundane, commonplace and everyday things. So it seems the technologists really have built a better mousetrap. The End